All right. I just got in, and someone told me that uh, they got converted from Islam to Christianity because of me. So I want to know why. Someone converted to Christianity to Islam, or from Islam to Christianity because of me? Yeah, because of you. Yeah, the, the uh, woman from Pakistan. Are you a Muslim? That, you know, are, are you a Muslim, my friend? Of, are you a Muslim? Yes. Okay, what do you think about what you see in the front of you on the screen? It was narrative that I saw. Uh, can you read that? I'm having trouble because I don't have my glasses on. Read it for me. What do you mean, read it? You read it. Go ahead. Uh, I don't have my glasses on. You don't have your glasses? Yeah, my friend, you need to eat uh, a carrot. Okay, it says yes. here that the verse of stoning and breastfeeding adult ten times were revealed. Is it true that there was in the Quran breastfeeding for adult verses ten times? The verse of stoning and breastfeeding an adult ten times. Huh? The fuck is that? But don't use bad language, please. Well, this is what it says. Look like you will leave Islam too after 30 seconds from calling me. You were wondering why she left Islam, but no. already you are out of Islam. You no, just, really. you just, no, I'm you just, just say it. Right. Guys, did, did he say, did he say the effort to what Allah announced in his holy book? Did he say the effort? He, he, this is not the holy book. This is yes. a hadith. No, this As is no, this is the Quran. This, this, my read, friend, read carefully. The verse, the verse of a stoning oh, and oh. of a breastfeeding an adult in time. This is a verse. This is not hadith. Yeah. What about it? Okay, you said the effort to it. Why? I'm not. Uh, I didn't read it well because I don't have my glasses on. I did read it for you, and you heard me very well. And then you said the, the F word very well. So you can say mm -hmm. the F word without your glasses too? Yes. Oh, okay. That's good. Okay. I mean, that's amazing. So now, as long now you see it very well, breast feeding for adult 10 times. What kind of God he command Muslim women to do breast feeding for adult 10 times? Breast feeding for adult? Uh-huh. I don't know. You tell me. Give me those verses. I thought you are the Muslim. Give me those, give me those verses. Well, those verses are eaten by the goat, don't you see? It says here, and the paper was under my pillow. When the messenger of Allah died, we were preoccupied with his death. And then a time sheep came and ate it. You know, the goat ate it. So you are asking me to give you the, the verse? So you're telling me there are verses about breastfeeding an adult and the, the goat uh, ate it or something? I'm not so claiming that. There, there are verses, but there is no. I am not. The verses is, are not there. I am not claiming. This is Aisha, the wife of your prophet, saying that. I'm not. I will one. read about if this hadith is true. And I'm going to read about the story of it. It is true. Here we go. It says, Hassan, great Hassan. And it is in the authentic book of Sunan Ibn Majah. And I can even show you that reference that Aisha, she used to command her sisters and her nieces to give their boobs to anyone who want to attend to them in order to meet her. So she put a bunch of girls from her family in the front of her house. Any Muslim man, he want to enter into Aisha, she, he have to go and nurse from those women, even though he's adult, 10 different time in 10 different days until he is fully satisfied. You are reading from Shia books. My That's friend, I don't know what kind of a Muslim you are. You are wearing a beard. I am and you a Sunni are... Muslim, which is the true Muslim uh, Islam. It's not some. You are not a true Muslim, Muslim because I will tell you that you are a false. I will tell you that you are a false Muslim. I will tell you why you are a false Muslim. I will tell you why you are a false Muslim. You do not know yes. that Ibn Majah is a Sunni. How in the world you claim to be a Muslim, that. true Muslim? Hold on. How you claim to be a true Sunni? How you claim? How you claim to be a true Sunni Muslim, but you do not know that Sunan Ibn Majah is a Sunni I book. I know that 
So why you said to me a second ago this is Shia? You said, yes, guys, yes, 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 I'm, re I'm saying that this uh, hadith is uh, actually some uh, evidence of Shia's claiming that Aisha was breastfeeding men. No, no, this is not as uh, this is not the Shia plane. This is your Sunni book saying that it's your Sunni books saying that Aisha she did breastfeeding for men. The verse of stone on the what do you think? It's my first time actually seeing this uh, hadith. But it's not that big of a thing. Hmm. But uh, I'm sure that but, there is some uh -huh. clear evidence and justification. You want hadith. you want the clear evidence? I am saying that there is and there would be a, a logical reason for that hadith. Oh, for hadith. sure, logical. You know, I, I, me myself. Uh, to be honest with you, I like to drink milk every morning, you know, and you know, I, the best way I want to take it from the cow, you know, if, uh, women, if they are women, they are beautiful around, and it's for free, my neighbor, you know, his wife, she is maybe 23, 24, and, uh, but the, the only sad part of the story, my neighbor, his wife is not a Muslim, so I cannot ask them for that. What kind of religion, what is the logical reason, give me a reason, the guy you know, Aisha, she is commanding her sisters that nobody can enter upon her unless he, she have to do nurse him. And those are men. We are talking about men. We are not talking about kids. You, uh, you see, you inspired me. You have a beard in your picture. Is that your picture or picture of somebody else? Yes. All right. So let us show you. I will look for the hadith about a person have a beard like you. Let us see. Uh, here we go. This is Sahih Muslim. Do you see it? Okay. Sahih Muslim. Yes. She commanded her to suckle him. She said, I'm going to suckle him and he have a beard. The guy, he have a beard. Do you know Arabic? Yes. All right. Read okay, read it in Arabic. فَقَالَتْ إِنَّهُ ذُو لَحِيَةِ Correct? <laughs> okay. All right. He have a beard. <laughs> so, your prophet is commanding the women to give her breast to a man. He have a beard. She said, how am I going to do it? He have a beard. He have a beard. He has, read it. He has a beard. Let me read the whole hadith. Let me read the whole hadith in Arabic. Okay, read it in all Arabic. Here we go. Let me give you the link so you can open it on your side and you can read it. And I will keep the English in the front of me so people who do not know Arabic, they can, they can see the English part of it. <laughs> uh, people in Ramble in YouTube, if you have a beard, feel free to subscribe because breastfeeding, we are we have a give out breastfeeding for adult. If you have a beard, subscribe only subscribers, they will get free breastfeeding for adult. If you don't have a beard, sorry, beard is required. Halal, you don't have a beard. Eh. Uh, who's gonna breastfeed them? Your mother? Or? I don't. You, know, you want to insult your mother now? Yeah, okay, okay. So, so you're disrespecting my religion. So uh, no, I'm not uh, disrespecting your religion. Uh, this is what the, uh, guys, did I disrespect his religion? Did I disrespect you? Hold on. You just said, everybody heard you. 
I disrespect your religion by quoting what your prophet said, what your God said. So that means you yourself acknowledge that this is a disrespect. No, 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 no. You're disrespecting. Yes, no. Because I, even, all what I said, all what I said, who want to do breastfeeding for adult? Uh, if you have a beard, what's, direct, my friend, indirect. as long as it's long your as long your religion. Indirect. Listen, indirect. if your religion allow Muslim men who have a beard to suckle with, from women. Women who they are not Babies. their wives. Listen, how you okay? Listen, Abu, Abu, Abu. You keep talking. Like I cannot hear you. Listen, like I will give you the microphone. Explain to me, explain to the audience why in the world you will allow your wife to give her boobs to someone he is a man and he is you are the husband. What's what is the reason? Language? What's your language? What's your language? Because so what are we you, you Okay, not boobs. Lighters. Okay, not boobs, I guys. Hold, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. What's wrong are with boobs? Okay, what I would call her? Okay, give me what what the word I should use? Breast. Yes. Okay, breast. How you can allow? Explain to us, guys. He got angry from boob. Okay. How you explain to the audience, not to me? How in the world your God commanded your wife to give her breast to any adult who have a beard? And he is not her husband. You are the husband. Explain to the audience. No, God didn't do that. No, your God did that. We showed you this is a verse in the Quran. Guys, did we show him that this is, was a verse in the Quran? You didn't send me the verse and I didn't get the chance to read it in Arabic. Well, there's no verse. The verse is gone. The goat, the, it, say, it says the goat ate line. it, my friend. It says the goat ate it. It's you Muslim who claim that the Quran is a preserved. I should ask you what is the verse? <laughs> She, the goat ate one sheet of the Quran. The Quran is written on sheets. It's not created. Okay. Like, like okay. you think it is. Exactly. So, and this it is my is question. Preserved. Listen, this, this is, is my this is my you question. This is my question to all Muslims. Okay, Abdul. Listen. Okay, this is my question to all Muslims. Can you just let me speak? Okay, but a second, a second. Yeah. You just said the goat. Okay, I understand. Uh, the goat ate the sheet. Did not eat your memory. So can you explain to me yeah. how come not a single yeah. Muslim can recite the verse? What verse? About a breastfeeding for adult. The goat ate the sheet. Did not eat your memory, Muslims. You Muslim, you claim that you memorized the Quran by heart. Okay. Well, the goat ate yeah. the book. The goat ate the book. Wonderful. The goat cannot eat your memory. The goat is not a Trojan horse in your computer. The is is written in the memory. Of the book. Huh? Yeah. The goat ate one cheat of the book. She no, no, first of all, book. it doesn't yeah. say one cheat in the book. It said the the, the, the Sahifa, the Sahifa, Sahifa is no. there's no paper. Oh, my friend, my sorry, friend, at that cheat. time, at that time, there's no paper. Sahifa is not a paper. Sahifa is a long. Sahifa is okay. What, what, what does Sahifa mean? Sahifa, it, 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 nobody knows what the size they use, but it's not a paper because at that time, there's no paper. They don't have papers. So those people, they write in whatever is available. And that thing obviously is a good food for the goat. And the goat, they eat everything. Goat, even they eat plastic. So the goat came inside the bedroom of Muhammad. Muhammad is in the bed, he's dead. The goat, she jumped in the top of the bed. She flipped Muhammad, meh. And then Muhammad, he fell in the ground. And the goat, she started eating the Quran. And now who in the world want to believe that the goat, she was selective. She ate only two verses. I mean, what can, is that? A, is that a goat sent by the Mossad as an example? So she maybe she can read Arabic. So she was flipping the Quran. She was looking for certain pages, certain verses to eat them. Who is going to believe? Obviously, she there ate a lot. A Obviously, a she ate a lot there's of verses. Verse. Huh? There is a verse I'm going to write it to you. What? What? I'm going to read it. مَا نَنْصَحْ مِنْ آيَةٍ أَوْ نُنْسِهَا yeah. Okay. It's Al you just, 106. You just, you just exposed Islam because uh, Allah, you know, I, I, I like it that uh, you, you speak Arabic. And that will make it easier for me. And as long as you are the one who mentioned this verse, this verse proves Islam to be very stupid. Why? Because do you believe that Allah can write Quran better than the Quran? Huh? huh? Allah ordered the, the Allah ordered the pencil to write, and the pencil wrote. And the I, pencil don't care, I don't care. I don't care. I don't care. So is the is the, the, is the pencil who made the Quran, or Allah is the one saying the Quran? Allah ordered. It's like saying, "Is the hands of God created the world, or God created?" No the problem. So it. is it is it Allah who is speaking, or the pencil? It's Allah. It's 
speaking. So Thank you. Goes. So how Allah is saying, I will make Quran better than the Quran. How you can write Quran yeah. better than the Quran? If Allah is perfect, like yeah. I, I have, I wrote many books. So now I will say, I'm going to write a book better than this book. That means I agreed, I admitted that my first book was not good enough. And now I will write something better. So when no, Allah maybe, he says maybe, better, maybe the audience, maybe the audience at that time didn't want to hear such like verses. Maybe they would be hard for them, like leaving and stop drinking alcohol. How did God or how did Allah order them to stop uh, drinking alcohol? Did you, did uh, first of all, first of all, first of alcohol? all, listen, your Quran did no. did ex, did, did ex, uh, 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 answer you because the Quran said or something like it's similar similar so what the point of deleting verses from the quran to write something similar if it is similar there's no point of it so and why allah want to cause the quran to be forgotten i thought the quran is a preserve in the heart of the believers it turned to be that the quran confirm that the quran is forgotten and this is why now you cannot remember maybe the breast feeding for adult is that the reason verses Allah Maybe it, it would be. Doesn't uh, matter. But breastfeeding, breastfeeding in right. that so-called in so in that so-called verse is wouldn't be uh, like the breastfeeding that we know. Uh, ah, like, uh, no, no, no. It's a breastfeeding, uh, my friend. Uh, in our, you, like speak Arabic, Arabic, you speak Arabic. Uh, you speak Arabic. Uh, okay, you speak Arabic. You speak Arabic. You speak Arabic. I speak Arabic. Yes. Ardi, Ardi means suckle him from the best breast. So don't make up the stories. But you said something very important. Okay, let me, let me, everybody, let me everybody let me heard you. Hold on. You didn't let me. Okay, but you said already. Not, I want to. I want to make best, a comment about what you best, said. Best, you said best, properly. Best, properly. You said properly. Me, people do not Allah, like it, my friend. Hold on. Second, a second. Just a second. Just a second. Just a second. A second. You said it properly. The people at that time did not like it. Guys, did he say that? Yes, you said that. Now we know why the Quran verses are missing. So the uh, Allah, He changed verses because people don't like it, and now no, because it, it can't be it can't just go like uh, straight ahead. Can, can, like okay, people at that time drank alcohol. Can you just order them to stop drinking alcohol? Because yes, you can. Like Why not? You can. You yeah, can. yeah, you can. You are a prophet and you have an army, and the one who don't obey you do what he need to do with him. Well, you're a prophet, so, he said. Did, uh, after you today, you don't know. Listen, 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 what listen. Verses, what secondly, what secondly, what okay, hold on. Okay, so I will go with you. I will, hold on. I will go with you. Hold on. We can't talk in the same time. Hold on. Here, you're a prophet. How he was able to force Muslims, women, to give their mm. breast if he is giving it in the, like slowly? Well, he just said, give your breast. Did you Muslim go and kill Muhammad? Did you say shame on you? Did you kill him? Did you strike? We, we are, Did you protest? We are talking right now about Manasakh and Ayat and Anansi. Okay? Whatever verse we uh, abrogate or could be forgotten. And I, I gave you an example like drinking alcohol. Okay, you went to people. You are a prophet. They are drinking alcohol and it's not haram for them. It's, it's permissible. No one there to for, uh, forbid them from doing it. Okay, my friend. Can you go to them and tell them yeah, stop drinking alcohol all the time. Allah uh, said, "Do not drink alcohol uh, before you pray." Then Allah said, uh, uh, "Don't drink alcohol, but not haram." Allah said, "Don't drink alcohol or other stuff like forever." That's how Allah forbid it, the alcohol drinking. You said That's something. You said some. You said something very funny and very weird. You said that alcohol is forbidden. Can you show mm -hmm. me one verse in the Quran that says forbidden? It doesn't say that. It says, Fajtanibu, avoid it. Oh, what, what does Fajtanibu mean? Avoid it. What does it what does avoid it mean in Quran? Avoid it. Do you know the language? Do you, the, you, you know speak the word right? haram? Speak the word haram is different. Fajtanibu machine stay, you know, stay away from it, but it doesn't say it's haram. Because okay, I will give you a okay hold I on. Give you a okay, what is a what is the penalty for a drinking alcohol in the Quran? I will give you a verse. You said the first tenibu, sah? Okay. And 
go, go look on Google. What does Pashtani mean? Not the literal translation. Like, uh, <laughs> My friend, uh, Mr. Google, I'm an Arab. This is Google you say to people, I'm an Arab. Yeah. Okay, you know, okay, in the front of people, I want to ask you, is alcohol bad? Yeah. Is al You mentioned to me something, you mentioned that alcohol is from shaitan. Is that true? Yes. All right. Are you sure? Yes, because from shaitan, it's the, the doings of shaitan. With what shaitan does, everything that shaitan does is okay. uh, bad. Guys, be my witness. Oh. He said uh, alcohol is from shaitan. So why your God, Allah, say alcohol is oh. good? Sure. Okay, mm -hmm. I will show you. You see my screen? Okay. So if the Jannah, sir? No, in in Earth. Here we go. Read it. من ثمرات النخيل والعنب تتخذون منهم سكر ورزقا حسنا إن ذلك بأتقام يعقلون. Show me the whole verse. I'm showing you the whole verse. I'm showing you the whole verse, my friend. I'm showing you the whole verse. No, no, no. Okay, yes, the whole verse, but one, two verses behind and one verse. I can. You can read the twenty verses before it go. Chapter sixteen, verse number. You can read from verse number sixty-five, sixty-six, sixty-seven, as as much as you wish. Read as much you wish. Do you say that everybody heard you? Saying that the, the, the that alcohol is from shaitan, but here Allah mm. saying that alcohol is wonderful. It's a great. It's a risk. Yeah, hasanan. Yeah. But you said. But you said. What? What? Yes. What? What? Uh, what? Are you, are you adding things to the Quran now? Yeah. Are you adding things yeah. to the Quran? Are you adding Quran now? Sure. Are you adding your own Quran? Uh, I'm adding my own Quran. I'm gonna, I'm gonna share this. Okay, in front of you it says yes, because you are adding you're, because you are adding words yes, in the air. Okay, but you said everybody heard you that listen. Everybody heard you. I ask you clearly: Is alcohol is it from the work of shaitan? You said yes. Yes. Okay. So, but now Allah is saying that this is a sign from Allah. Yes. Okay. How it is from Shaitan? It's a sign from Allah. Yeah, Bani Adam. <laughs> why, why do you drink alcohol? Why do you drink alcohol? Listen. How it is from Shaitan? Yeah, 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 and Allah is saying this is from me. Alcohol? Listen. Your God. Tell me why do you, you drink alcohol? Why do people drink alcohol? Don't change topic. Your God claim that I'm this is a miracle He I'm did. Saying, I am your God, your God, he claimed that this is a miracle he did. Who is the one who made the miracle? Allah. I asked you, is alcohol from shaitan? You said yes. And this is a verse yes. in the Quran saying that actually. This is a contradiction. One verse in the Quran saying that alcohol from shaitan. Another verse saying that this is a sign from Allah. It cannot be both. Uh, <laughs> also, also, Allah created the... Uh, you know, killing and murdering. What, no, no, what no, no, hold on, don't change topic. Is, no, no, you see, the, the Quran says, the Quran says, uh, the Quran says, if this is a book made by other than Allah, you will find in it a lot of contradiction. And this is a clear contradiction because it cannot be a miracle from Allah, yet it's yeah. a miracle from Shaitan. Okay, is it from Allah it's or from Shaitan? It's a doing of Shaitan. Okay, so. It's a doing uh, of shaitan. So how Allah it is? Created, let's, say, let's say, for example, Allah created uh, you, okay, and you became a rapist or a child, uh, whatever, and uh, you did those stuff. Did Allah do this stuff? Or, yes, uh, yes, Allah did, did that. You do this yes, stuff? no, Allah he did those stuff because you no, must you then, no, you must then believe, you must then believe in destiny. You must then believe in destiny. You must then believe in. Okay, let, let me make it simple. Let me make it simple. If you do adultery, are you choosing to do adultery or Allah force? As a destiny, you choose to do adultery, but Allah knows it. No, this is not about knowing. I'm talking about destiny. Mm -hmm. Yes, we are gonna take. Uh, you are, we are gonna take about the qada al qada. Okay, we can talk about it. Okay. So you said you choose to do that already. No, the, the, your prophet said that this is a destiny, a fate which a man must commit. He Can must. Can you stop for five seconds, please? Huh? Can you stop for five seconds? I'm, gonna, uh, I'm going back to some to about the alcohol thing. Can I?
Yeah, but you, you it's well, you who well. switch, it's you who switch. He said, Let me give you an example. You do rebest, you do etc. It's you who mention it. So now okay, okay. it's turned to be I, it's turned to be that if you aren't drunk, to, Allah he made you drunk. No. If you drink, Allah made you drink. If you fornicate, Allah made you fornicate. If you do kill, Allah made you kill. If you are a thief, are Allah make you a thief. We are going back to talk about this one. And we just talk about we are no problem. Go ahead. So Allah. When he say it's a sign from him, did he lie or it's a sign from Shaitan? It's a doing of Shaitan and it's a creation of God. So That's no, no, no. He God. said it's a sign. Ayah, ayah, ayah. What is the ayah? Ayah mean a miracle, a perfection of God. Yes, yes. A perfection That's, of God. Yes. That uh -huh. you can that you can that you can make out of makhil and ramen, uh, wholesome drinks or food. That's the miracle that you can create two stuff. He, no, he said he and, said he said that this is a sign for those who they are wise. So the wise is the one who drink alcohol, <laughs> not the one who forbid alcohol. The one who they are wise is the one who will make it from the fruits. And from the vine, wholesome drink, alcohol, and food. Behold, in this also is a sign for those who are wise. So what the wise people do? They make beer. What the wise people do? They make wine. What the wise people do? Make black label. <laughs> Sorry. Are you getting wise with me? What happened, Abu? Hello? Hello? Hello, Maru? Okay, take it or leave it. the most confusing silly stupid religion and the maker of the quran he said if this is a book made by other than allah you will find in it a lot of contradiction brother well this is a book of contradiction every page of it every every line of it is a joke how this can be a book of god maybe abu he went to drink some whiskey He's a prophet, he used to pray drunk. It says that in the Quran. The Muslim, they pray drunk, and the Arab, they make fun of them. They say, look what kind of religion this religion is. Muhammad, he did not open his mouth about Muslim praying drunk, until the Arabs start making fun of him and his followers. They said, look, this guy and his followers, they pray drunk. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Alhamdulillah. <laughs> Word was gay. Abu here run away. What the heck? The guy who speak Arabic and he is growing beard and he claim himself Abu Zarqawi and he is from ISIS. He took a hike. What the heck? Is alcohol bad or good? It's a sign from Allah, brother. For the wise ones. You want to be wise? <laughs> For the wise one? And then you ask them, is alcohol from shaitan? They say, yes, brother, yes. Hold on, I have a caller. Christian Prince, first of all, Alcohol is very bad, and we Muslims don't drink alcohol. Second, like, number one people in the world who buy alcohol is Muslims. In fact, you Muslims are number one who even drink perfume. Is that true? Christian Prince, we drink perfume because we want to smell good when we fart. Like, what the heck? Seriously, you drink perfume because when you fart, you want your fart to smell right? Exactly. You know what, Mazakir? I never thought about it this way. I thought you drink perfume because you are desperate for alcohol 
But now, thank you for correcting me. So, Zachary, when you drink perfume, you fart perfume too? Kiss and Prince, exactly. And I can't tell you. I can say, Zachary, what you did. This is disgusting, man. The perfume is not there. <laughs> Go right now and search Saudi Arabia drinking perfume. This is before the Crown Prince, he come and he opened the market for alcohol, even though it's not too much public, but it's all over.